Hey again, guys. Do you know what I like to do after I get home from my July 4 holiday weekend? I like to look at some baseball cards. So I got a special gift this weekend. Uh, my cousin Amy brought me this special gift. And she found this at an estate sta sale. I'm not sure what it is. I, I, Lou Ronk had uh, done a little research. And I think it might be a placemat, but I'm not sure. And if it is a placemat, I'm not sure where it came from. I can uh, speculate that maybe a private bar or restaurant, uh, there's no emblem on it. But anyway, it's a 1960 beat em Bucks photo. And like I said, she picked it up at an estate sale and it still has this old picture frame. If any of you know where this is, if you know the origin of this, please let me know. So my cousin Amy, she's shown in this picture here with me and my cards. So she actually played Little League Baseball and she wanted to play football, but her, uh, her father wouldn't let her. But she played uh, right field on the boys team in Little League. And I went to watch her play. And uh, she was pretty athletic. So where I grew up, we played uh, pickup football games. And uh, I was, uh, I don't know, like in my neighborhood, um, I would score all the touchdowns. Like they just throw the ball up, I'd catch it and score a touchdown. So she came to stay and uh, she played on the opposite team. And <laughs> I had seven touchdowns for my team and she had seven touchdowns for her team. And she would just run down and just plow everybody over with a stiff arm, just run them over. So I had this one friend, Tony, and uh, we called him Tony Baloney. And he was taking exception to the fact that she kept running him over. And he decided to pick a fight with her. She got on top of him and just pummeled him. So in addition to getting scored on seven times by her, then he got his ass kicked by her. And he was really humiliated. <laughs> but that's my, uh, that's my, uh, <laughs> my fun memory from when my cousin Amy came uh, to stay. Now, she played Little League Baseball in New Kensington, PA, right outside of Pittsburgh. And now I want to show you one of my favorite pieces, and this is why. So, I get this book, and this is an exceptional book. If you don't have it, and you're a baseball fan, probably should get a copy. Just an exceptional book. But it lists this woman, Miss Myrtle Rowe. And she was apparently a good baseball player. She played on a men's semi-pro team in New Kensington, PA. It says... Uh, Miss Myrtle Rowe, Bain News Service, March 14, 1910. Shortly before Miss Rowe, 18, posed for this photograph, the New York Times reported that she had signed to play first base for the Antelier Athletic Club of New Kensington, a men's semi-pro, uh, semi-professional team near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The Times noted that this is Miss Rowe's third year with the uh, Antiers, and both her fielding and batting averages are said to rank toward the top of the semi-professionals in this neighborhood. The girl plays in the uniform of the club, her costume being a short sleeve, loose fitting blouse, and a short skirt. She is a favorite with the fans and her work is generously applauded at all the games. So this is Miss Myrtle. And I had, a while back, got my hands on this old, old press photo featuring that team and Miss Myrtle Rowe. And you can see her there. Now, New Kensington's somewhat famous. I have a relative. 
Uh, he's an eighth degree black belt. Uh, amongst the higher uh, circles of the martial arts community. And back in 1980, uh, started uh, what is considered to be the first MMA fight at the Holiday Inn in New Kensington, Pennsylvania. And I was watching uh, the Discovery Channel one day, and they actually did a special on this. And his name is Philip Ameris. Uh, if you're into martial arts, you may be familiar. Although, you know, we're all getting old now. But uh, New Kensington, Pennsylvania, a little bit of baseball history and a little bit of MMA history. So that's what I have for you right now. As always, thanks for watching.